Hello, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. It is four o'clock. I am just walking in the door. Tonight for dinner, we are just having, oh, uh, pork loin, and I'm going to make some air fryer Brussels sprouts for the dogs that are out there. I think the doggies are outside right now. <laughs> and here comes one of them. Also, all of you were yelling at me for letting her play with the hat. I understand. She can eat every hat that I own because in my eyes, she does no wrong. So, there's that. She's perfect. She is perfect. She's not. She does nothing wrong. She does nothing wrong. We do nothing wrong. Who's perfect? Start a nuclear war and you would still be fine with her. Yes, who could do anything? You can eat hats, who can eat shoes, who can eat the couch. You do nothing wrong. Who's a perfect girl? Who's a perfect lady? Who's a perfect lady? Who do nothing? You do hey, you do nothing wrong. Who do nothing wrong? Who do nothing wrong? Who do nothing wrong? She does nothing wrong in my eyes. So yes, frustrated about me letting her bite the hat. Well, you know what? She can eat all my hats. Who oh, can eat all my hats? Come here. Bubba's. 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 We've taught her not to take sticks in the house, though. Yeah. Watch. No. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Good girl. Good girl. Because she's perfect. Because yeah. you perfect, oh perfect lady. You oh perfect lady, you oh perfect lady. And you're an old man. In other news, I rarely ever get pimples, but I have a pimple under the skin of my nose and it hurts so bad. If you have any remedies for it, let me know. So we are making just an easy dinner tonight. I have some already cleaned Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to have, cut them in half and throw them in this bowl. I love a Brussels sprout. So what I'm going to do with these, is I'm just going to get them all split and then we're going to add some oil to them, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, but what will make these very delicious is we are going to make a quick balsamic reduction essentially a balsamic glaze. And I think some people get intimidated and don't even like look into how to make it. It is literally the easiest thing. Putting balsamic vinegar on these is fine. It just isn't thick enough. So I'm gonna cut these last couple. I love a crispy Brussels sprout. It was my least favorite vegetable when I was a kid. My sister always has loved them, but I was never, never a fan. And now they're probably my favorite vegetable. I've been using my little oil and vinegar thing that I got at Breathe at Home. I'm gonna put a healthy amount of olive oil Decent amount of salt. Some fresh pepper. A 
lots of pepper. And then a little bit of garlic powder. Super, super simple. I love simple weeknight meals. And then I'm just gonna give these a quick toss in the oil so that they're all coated and covered. So these are all set. And then I'll show you how we're gonna do the balsamic glaze. My goal is to get about a cup of vinegar total. So, a little less, it's totally fine. I have a cup of balsamic vinegar and I'm just going to add that to my pan. And I have it on a very low heat. And eventually, I wanna bring it to a very slow boil. Once I get it at a slow boil, I'll reduce the heat. The thing with vinegar though, is because there are some sugars in it, it will burn. So I suggest a rubber spatula and just always keep it being stirred. So that's what we're going to do. All right, advent calendar. All right, number 12. It's the 12th. <gasps> What's this? I can't believe they're not bothering it. What is this? <gasps> treat? Want a treat? This one for you? That's the gentlest I've ever seen. For Mabel. So you can move the star. Happy day 12. All right. Um, so I got this to boil and I turned it down and now it's just simmering and it'll take about eight, eight minutes. I am going to start the Brussels sprouts. So my air fryer, 375, dump these in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about five minutes, shake it, five minutes, shake it and then about three to four more minutes. So. I'm going to set it total for a time of 15, just to be safe. I'm going to start that up. So five minutes shake, five minutes shake, three to four minutes to finish cooking. All right, let's go ahead and open some advent calendars. We are already at day 12, and we're on the third side of this. Um, it is a rocking horse. You see the little rocking horse? I will never buy this one again. It's cute, like the visuals are cute, but eh, it's fine. Day 12 of Book Lovers. Right here. It's a little button and it says, I pause my audiobook to be here. That's amazing. I love a pin. I and I love an audiobook. That is a perfect pin for me. All right, let's hit it. Pour some sugar on me in the name of love. Pour some sugar on me. These are birthday cake cookies. I also love having so many less advent calendars this year. It's very nice. Day 12. <gasps> I'm so excited. This calendar is so good. It is a shampoo daviness. I love a good shampoo though. Also, thank you for the kind words on my hair. Everyone at work also loved it. Very, very happy with it. All right, I will take my goodies. You, I will see in a little bit when we have to start editing. All right, let's go give our vinegar another stir. All right, we are almost at the five minute mark, so just gonna pull it out quick, give it a little shake, and then we'll go in for another five minutes. All right. Look how pretty the color is already on those. All right, and we're back in. Five more minutes and another shake. Is second shake. 
And then I'm probably gonna let them go the whole four minutes that I have left. This is still going, oh, it's, it starts to smell less vinegar and more sweet as it goes. I might actually pull this off pretty soon. Because it'll keep thickening as it cools a bit. I feel like it's in a pretty good spot. Let it go for like... Mm, I'm going to do two more minutes and then I'm going to pull it off the heat. And then I'm just going to straight up plate the Brussels sprouts right away. Honestly, I might skip the pork altogether and just have Brussels sprouts. What are you doing? Oh, you got a toy. That's what you eat. You eat toys, not... You eat toys, not hats. You eat toys, not hats. You eat toys, not hats. Look how cute she is. Mm. Oh, she's my perfect lady. Oh, my perfect lady, you do nothing wrong. Huh? I can't even think of the last time you did something wrong. Yesterday. No, that wasn't wrong. We do everything right. We do everything right. We do everything right. Everything. And you do nothing at all, so you are fine. He is just so slow anymore. All right, I'm going to pull this vinegar off. Like I said, as it cools, it will also continue to thicken. So if it's not exactly where you want when you pull it off, it's okay. It will keep thickening up. Once again, weeknights are just not glamorous nights. I do have a holiday party this Thursday though, so that will be glamorous. I have yet to pick out my outfit. We might actually do that tonight. We might go look at some outfit options for the holiday party. Um, I want to wear something fun and festive and sparkly. So I'll show you my options and then we'll decide. We are gonna go do that. You'll help me decide my holiday outfit. Um, all right, Brussels are almost done. Balsamic glaze is almost done. Dinner is almost done. Right. Look how perfect. Oh, they are perfect. I don't love a leftover Brussels sprout because you need it while it is still crispy. But I just told Steven, I think I'm just gonna Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna take the extras. Hi, Buddha of a Zadie. She's not very ladylike in the day. Yes, she is. Farting She's perfect. Out loud. She passed gas. Let her be. She is a lady. Not in the bathroom. Oh, he's a perfect girl. In the office. Oh, he's a perfect lady. Mm, I, uh, geez, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I'm he's having all sorts of bathroom issues on the floor. He's an old man. We are upstairs, and I thought I'd show you some of my options that I'm thinking. These shirts are all options that I have for my holiday party. Any of these options, I'm either wearing with a navy tuxedo pant or a black tuxedo pant. Like this like light blue would look so sharp with a navy blue tuxedo pant. So this is option one, we'll call it the silver ice blue shirt with like a navy blue tuxedo pant. Such a good option. This I really love. It is a ruffle front tuxedo shirt with a black velvet bow. This with like a black velvet tuxedo pant tucked in with like a loafer. So that is option two. This one is just a little too subtle, I think. This is like a light blue, subtle, it's like sequined. But like they are really pretty. Um, I love that it has a French cuff too. I thought this with a navy blue tuxedo pant is an option. We'll call this like the blue stripe. This one is just a straight up navy blue. I don't think this is my option. I think this is for New Year's Eve, but it's like a very beautiful, like, midnight blue um, choice. But I don't think I will do that. This one was fun. This one's also from ASOS. I love this one that has, like, the silver yoke. I just think this with perhaps a black tuxedo plant, black blazer, black, like, patent shoes could be a really nice option. We'll call this like the silver and white option. 
Then those are like tuxedo pant options. So then my other option, these are from ASOS. They're, they're what they call smart trousers on the guy's line. So they're like slightly tapered and they're cropped. So a little above the ankle with like a chunky loafer. And I thought like with a half tucked Christmas plaid shirt, um, these aren't the shirts. I have shirts coming that are not a flannel material that are actually like a dress shirt material, but they're essentially these two prints. I thought that could be a really cool option with like either a French tuck or just like maybe like tuck one tail in. So would love for you guys to tell me what you think I should wear on Thursday night. I didn't end up using the breathe strips. Maybe tonight is the night that I use them. So I, on my Instagram story, asked for a couple questions. So I thought I'd answer them and a bunch have already come in. I literally just posted it. If I don't get it too many of them tonight, I will save them for tomorrow. But some good questions have already come in. Any wallpapering projects? I'd love to see ideas for a fab powder room. I have been thinking about wallpaper. All the wallpaper I've put up, except for my grass cloth, I've taken down. Um, but I love a good wallpaper, so always, always an option. I think wallpaper is the best in a small space, like a powder room, a pantry. I haven't loved doing big areas. It is never something I've stuck with. How do you find your personal style clothes, jewelry, bags, nails, all of those things? Um, I think it's constantly evolving and I'm just always looking for inspiration. If you follow me on Instagram, um, which obviously you do because you asked me the question here, I am always just like looking for it and then saving it. So, um, always just looking for inspiration and also just doing what like I feel like it. Um, I spent so much of my life like trying to fit in and be what other people would want you to be professionally, personally, all those things. And at this point in my life, I just want to do what brings me joy. And as long as it makes me happy and brings me joy, I'm doing it. And I would want you to do the same. Do you bake Christmas cookies and will you on the vlog? Yes. So I have like a lot of days scheduled. My weekdays are just harder to schedule because of work. And sometimes my schedule gets a little unpredictable. And I was supposed to travel again this week. Technically, I was supposed to be flying to New York City tomorrow and Thursday, but I had to rearrange due to our holiday party. I was supposed to be in New York City last week when I was sick. Um, my work schedule just makes that hard. But this weekend, I'm baking some of my grandmother's recipes. So, yes, we're going to do Christmas baking, all of those things. I actually have a cookie exchange at work that I have to bake cookies for anyway on Monday. So, baking is coming. How's Steven? He is doing well. He's super busy with work as well. Um, this is just like a busy time of year for everyone, um, but particularly us and our jobs, just super, super busy. What is the most valuable advice you've ever been given? It's from my grandmother. Actually, two things she always said. Like, she used to always tell me, like, if it makes you happy, do it. Like, she always was someone who was like, live life to the fullest. I think it's because in so many circumstances, she, I think, had some regrets or missed opportunities that she wished she would have taken. So she always wanted us to. And the other thing she said to me, um, I was older too. She said, when the idea of like going off into the unknown is less scary than staying where you are, always go into the unknown. Um, and I think that's always like such good advice. When it is scary, when the idea of staying is scarier than leaving, always leave. That is your intuition, your gut telling you. No Chad's tea calendar this year. I will tell you what, friends, I was just so busy with work that I really missed the mark on ordering advent calendars, but I also knew this Vlogmas I didn't want to have a ton of advent calendars to open and have to weed through. It's also my least favorite footage to edit. So, yeah, we just didn't grab one this year. Doesn't mean we won't in years to come, but this year I just didn't want a ton of advent calendars. I really had selected three, and then Danielle bought me that book one. So that's why we have four. Any trips for Vlogmas planned? We have like day and like short trips planned, but no like big journey. Steven and I have really been talking about like what is the next trip? I go, well, I guess almost many Vlogmases. We've had some big trips. We've gone, we spent Vlogmas in Italy. We flew to, across the country to Utah for the weekend. We've gone on ski trips. I guess almost every Vlogmas 
there's been some sort of trip. Last year was Utah. The year before that, I think we went on a ski trip. The year before that, we probably did Italy. I don't even know, but we've had some good Vlogmas trips. What is your favorite Christmas memory? Um, I don't know if it's like a favorite memory. A funny one that I think about often is I was a snooper for Christmas presents. Give me some love in the comment section if you were a snooper as a kid. Um, uh, but anyway, I snuck and found all of our Christmas gifts, all of them. And I remember like begging my sister to let me tell her and she wouldn't let me tell her because she didn't want her Christmas ruined. I don't think I ended up telling her, but I found everything one year. And my mom knows. She knew I was a snooper. Do you and Steven plan to live in this house forever? No, this is not our forever home. We love this home, but ultimately this isn't our forever home. How do you think you have changed this year? Oh, I'm going to end with this one. I think I've changed a lot in 2023. 2223 and 2324 have been two of um, the worst and best years that I can remember. I feel, and I when I think about how I've changed, I really think it's happened over the last couple months. I'm just not willing to postpone my happiness or try to people please as much. I usually care so much about pleasing other people that I put my things on the back burner. I postpone things that make me happy. I really do a disservice to myself in order to people please. And I really feel that over the last two years, I have felt a little beat up by that. And I'm just not willing to do it anymore. If I don't want to engage with you, I don't have to engage with you. I do not need to attend every argument or bickerment or side conversation you want to have. I do not need to attend that. And I feel like I have kind of stepped into my own of protecting my peace and just not willing to do things that I don't want to do. Sometimes no is the best yes. And I think that is where I have changed the most. I'm just not willing to do that anymore and postpone my happiness. And I really look at 2024 um, with a lot of optimism. I will tell you the last two years have, have beat me up a bit. Um, it's one of the reasons I didn't post so much. Not because of anything here, just things in my life. Um, I think we can sometimes think of uh, a creator or like see these literal minutes of my life. I think that's one thing people will sometimes make a passing judgment or like say a random comment. And I'm like, you are seeing five minutes of a week. <laughs> um, but I'm just not willing anymore to let that stuff bother me. I just... I don't know. I feel more settled in myself. I feel like I've really learned who I am and what I'm willing to be a part of and not be a part of. And so I think 2024 is going to be a year of me really making a lot of decisions for me. Um, and finally coming to terms that that's not selfish. And I hope that you can start doing the same because I know many of you We've chatted, um, and I know that you guys struggle with being people pleasers and putting yourselves on the back burners and taking care of everyone else and never thinking about yourself. And like ultimately, the first priority is you. And I know ultimately there will be some people who want to stick around and there will be people who will not want to stick around. And I don't care. <laughs> um, I just want, I would, if, if I could make one wish for everyone, it would be for them to feel settled and happy in their own skin and make decisions that make them happy. Because ultimately, the happier that they are, the better and kinder and nicer they will be to others. That's probably the biggest lesson I've learned in the last year. I don't know how that rambling will help you, but that's it. All right, friends, I will answer more questions. I'll save them and screenshot them so I don't lose them. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, hop over there and ask your question. I'll answer as many as I can, but I will end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time.
which will be tomorrow. Day 13 of Vlogmas. I can't believe it's day 13. Oh! I forgot to tell you this. To make up for my three days missed, I'm going to go till the end of the month. So I will vlog until December 30th. I'll make up for it. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.